We present an adversarial multi-objective optimization technique, applicable to a range of problems, including motion imitation for physics-based character animation. Our technique enables tracking controllers to closely replicate a diverse repertoire of behaviors, achieving comparable quality to state-of-the-art motion tracking methods without manual reward engineering. Multi-objective optimization problems involve optimizing multiple objectives simultaneously. Existing methods often rely on handcrafted aggregation functions that are time-consuming to tune. To address this, we propose to automatically aggregate objectives by replacing manually tuned aggregation with an adversarial differential discriminator, ADD for short. The discriminator receives, as negative samples, vectors of losses representing errors between the target and achieved values. With this differential formulation, the only positive sample is a zero vector. The discriminator classifies whether the input vector corresponds to an ideal solution. Our work finds that the discriminator effectively handles complex tasks, even with only one positive training sample. First, we apply ADD to train controllers for motion tracking. Motion tracking methods typically require a manually designed reward function. However, it can be difficult to manually craft a reward function that can precisely imitate a diverse variety of behaviors. In this work, we model motion tracking as a multi-objective optimization problem, where the goal is to minimize the differences between the target state from the reference motion and the state of the simulated character. We employ adversarial imitation learning techniques to learn a reward function from data via an adversarial differential discriminator. ADD uses the difference between the reference and the agent state as negative samples. The only positive sample provided is a zero vector, representing perfect tracking. By dynamically attending to different terms in the state and honing in on the more difficult combinations of the terms, ADD generates tracking rewards that continually challenge the policy. Prior adversarial imitation learning methods focus on capturing the overall style of the target motions rather than precise motion tracking. In contrast, our formulation allows for more precise motion replication. When applying ADD to train a simulated humanoid to imitate reference motions, it closely mimics diverse highly acrobatic and agile skills without using manually specified tracking reward functions. Our method is able to imitate challenging parkour skills such as climbing and double kong, which require particularly high tracking accuracy to replicate intricate contacts. ADD can also train a single, general policy to accurately imitate larger motion datasets, such as the LaFan subset. The subset contains over an hour of various locomotion skills, including jumping, sprinting, fighting, dancing, etc. Our method produces more accurate tracking than the prior adversarial learning method, AMP. Furthermore, our method is comparable to the state-of-the-art motion tracking method, Deep Mimic, on both single motion clips and motion datasets. However, Deep Mimic's reliance on manually designed reward functions, to a degree, limits its ability to imitate a broad spectrum of motions. For instance, Deep Mimic policies failed to reproduce some of the challenging parkour motions. This limitation arises, as it can be challenging to manually craft a general and effective reward function for imitating a diverse variety of behaviors. Our method can also be applied to a complex, simulated robot. ADD maintains a strong tracking performance, comparable to Deep Mimic, on this different character morphology. Next, we demonstrate that ADD can also be applied to non-motion imitation tasks, such as the standard RL benchmark tasks. We evaluate ADD on the multi-objective 2D walker task and Unitree Go 1 quadrupedal walking task. ADD enables the Go 1 robot to develop more natural gaits, characterized by greater foot lift and longer strides. In comparison, the manually tuned rewards produce less natural behaviors, with more jittering and small shuffling steps. Walkers trained using ADD successfully learn upright and fast running behaviors, comparable in performance to the behaviors produced by manually designed reward functions. Across different tasks and embodiments, ADD consistently matches the performance of manually tuned reward functions in behavioral quality, consistency, and sample efficiency all while alleviating the dependence on manual reward engineering. These results collectively highlight ADD's generality for a diverse range of multi-objective RL tasks. 
Gradient Penalty Regularizer is vital for the effectiveness of ADD. We examine four configurations, no gradient penalty, penalty applied only to negative samples, only to positive samples, and to both positive and negative samples. Models trained without gradient regularization exhibit significantly higher tracking errors. Applying penalty only to positive samples leads to higher errors and worse sample efficiency. The findings validate our decision to apply gradient penalties to the negative samples. More details on our work can be found in the paper. Thank you for watching.